with the due date for college applications right around the corner, seniors are tensed and in a frenzy to get everything done on time. At a time like this, a senior can be spotted in a crowd just by their fraught body language and the scarlet red coloring of their eyes. So we interviewed senior Mustangs to hear their side of the story and how they're coping. Do you know what college you want to go to? Yes. How does knowing and not knowing affect the workload? Like, do you have to do more for certain colleges? Knowing what college you're going to apply to helps a lot because um, that reduces the amount of research you have to do. When you're kind of like shooting in the dark, you're kind of researching everything and you don't really have a direction. For me personally, it's going great. Like, I'm basically done with everything. I just have to revise my personal statement and I'm good to go. But I do know a lot of people who are in a position where they don't know what they're doing at all. So it, it really, if they're still deciding what the topic is, it's, there's still a lot of work to be done. Because there's also supplements and some colleges like UT Austin have like five supplements. So, yeah. Do you take any AP classes? Uh, yeah. How many? All of them. How are college applications going for you? They're not. Um, <laughs> I have like the questions and stuff filled out, but uh, the essays are, um, yeah, I need to get on those. How often do you work on your college applications? And, like, how much time do you spend on that? Um, I open up Common App every day, but I don't get anything done. <laughs> so it just, like, adds to it, I guess. Okay. Do you know what college you want to go to? Um, no. Okay. How does knowing and not knowing affect the workload? Well, since you're... Since I'm not like sure which college I want to specifically go to because of like many um, criteria you have to look out for, for college apps, it adds a lot of stress because you're stressing about deadlines for specific colleges um, and their supplementals and um, their campus area, their structure and everything. And how are college applications going for you? Um, I think I'm on top of my deadlines, but I know like it's more stressful because again, some of them have specific like niche things they want you to complete. They some have their own applications, but overall it's, it's stressful, but I'm dealing with it. And how often do you work on college apps? Every chance I get, to be honest. Like I basically spend um, a lot of like the free time in class just working on it. Like we, we were in AP Physics right now. We had a lab to work on. I didn't really do the lab. I did um, college. What's the most stressful part of college applications? The most stressful part is probably just figuring out what to write about. I feel like college apps is like it's such a broad topic. You can write about really anything. I've heard people talk about Legos. I've heard people talk about like traumatic experiences. So it's really what speaks to you. How often do you work on college applications and how much? I've done like once a month. <laughs> this is not that good but like I've crammed on those sessions so like I spend like hours like on the weekends or just the day that I'm focusing on college apps. I like dedicate a day to it. What's the most stressful part of applying for colleges? Um, besides like thinking if you're good enough and comparing yourself to others, um, just like putting in all your information as well as kind of being vulnerable when you're like do some essays. Okay. The most stress everything. <laughs> How are you coping with that? I'm not. <laughs> So how are you balancing taking like all AP classes with applying for colleges? I, I sleep sometimes. <laughs> um, in okay, like to be honest, I like I read a lot. Um, that's definitely like my major uh, coping mechanism. Uh, like I talk to my friends. Like I'm not like isolating myself or anything like that. Uh, yeah, I walk outside. That's nice. Balancing schoolwork and being in six AP classes and. Um, applying for colleges at the same time? Well, I I use Notion to organize my time, so I have time block, and I also like give myself like breaks when I need them, as well as, yeah, I just make sure to organize my time well and know my deadlines. In balancing schoolwork and doing college jobs at like the same time? Um, I'm really not, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, th th there's a lot of like, it, like we think we're balancing it, but like at some point we're giving up something. Like me personally, I'm giving up a lot of sleep and like sometimes time with friends because I got to get it done. But um, what's keeping me going is the fact that it's just first semester and then I'll be like basically free. My name is Tom Doherty. I am one of our school counselors and I also oversee our college and career center. What advice would you give to seniors who are working on college applications? Well, the biggest thing would be to plan ahead, um, to go ahead and try to get those applications done as early as possible so that you're not waiting to the last minute. 
Um, in addition to that, we have what's called an application tracker tool on our website. If you go to mattiacounseling.org, click on the Seniors tab, you'll see that um, application tracker tool in our most common um, senior links. Um, and what are the most like common patterns that you see when it comes in seniors when it comes to the college application type? I think it just depends on this on the student. Um, I think senior year can be an exciting time. I think it is an exciting time being the last year that uh, students are in a public high school setting. Um, so I think there's a lot of excitement from seniors. I think there can be um, some stress that comes along, um, just figuring out what they wanna do after high school. Um, some students are deciding between maybe going to college or maybe going into the military or maybe into a trade or the workforce. And for some students, that is um, a challenging decision to make. Um, so I think sometimes stress can come into play, but I think seniors also overall enjoy senior year, the last year with their friends here at their high school. Okay, is there anything else you would like to add? I would just say for seniors, do your best, um, continue to work hard here at Matia Valley all the way through the end of May when you graduate. Um, again, enjoy this year the best that you can. As if you are applying to colleges, um, try to be on time and thorough with your applications. Um, ask for help. We have our counselors here who are more than willing to help students with their uh, college application questions or come on down to the College and Career Center and see me, I'm more than happy to help um, and just finish strong. There are many ways to alleviate the stress senior students face. Mr. Doherty suggests that students plan ahead and get organized as soon as they can. He also mentions that seniors should make the most of their senior year as it is the last year they spend in high school. We got this, whatever you, like whatever happens, happens. Like, we all are gonna get a degree, maybe. <laughs> That's it. Is there anything else you would like to add? Don't put up your supplemental essays until school starts, get it done in the summer. Is there anything else you would like to add? Um, go, go Mustangs. <laughs>